once he knew he had full control, he went for it. Hello everyone, this is Ian. Welcome back to my channel. I'm currently in quarantine, so I thought it might be fun to share some of my memorable past sexy encounters using the popular gay social app, Grindr. It was literally a fantasy that I wouldn't be surprised if you actually question the authenticity of the story I'm about to tell you. This encounter actually happened just a few days after the story I told you about in the last video. Again, it was 2016 summer. I was in my 20s. I was young and free. I was still writing music at the time and I was invited to participate in a two-week music festival in Valencia, Spain. It was my first time visiting Spain. I was curious and excited. Everything about Spain is great. And Spanish people are extremely beautiful, passionate and very friendly. So this time it was in the early afternoon. I turned on my grinder and was just browsing and browsing. And then I got a buzz and a message from a headless profile. He texted hola along with a few full body pics with face. My first impression was this is fake because this guy looked like someone you see in a male fitness magazine. He has this incredible physique. He is 6'3 tall. He has a very chiseled face, big brows, sweet smile, extremely, extremely handsome. And his hair, his hair, he has this thick fairy tale-ish princely hair that goes down to the neck, super thick torso and back, perfect proportion with really strong and long legs. He's basically a statue and he's just a few years older than me. So you could tell why I thought this guy was probably catfishing, but we kept the conversation going and he sent me a few more selfies. He was a very polite person, not pushy at all. Everything seemed to be too good to be true at this point. He wanted to see me right now and he gave me his address. I jumped in a taxi and drove to his place, which was not that far from my hotel. We turned the corner and we arrived in this residential area. There was no elevator, so I walked up the stairs. I pressed the doorbell and someone opened the door. And there he was, all 6'3 tall of him. He was actually even taller than I imagined. Probably because he was so big. His presence was overwhelming and his physique was towering over me. I remember he was wearing a really form-fitting white tank top that really defined his big muscular chest. And he paired that with some gym shorts. Very intimidating. But he totally disarmed me with his intoxicating sweet smile. He welcomed me into his apartment. Not huge, but modest. We had a little bit of small talks in the hallway and then he led me to his living room. So I found out he's a clinical doctor who is off duty that afternoon. At this point, I was like, this guy is good looking. He's about my age. He's got a perfect body, great smile, polite. And now he's a doctor. I was, I mean, very impressed. And then as I looked around the apartment, he had a lot of Star Wars figurines and models all over the place. Turns out he was a huge Star Wars fan. So now he's also a geek. And that just added another goofy layer to this fascinating and seemingly perfect man. J -j just hold on tight because the roller coaster ride was just about to start. Oof. I think it's getting hot in here. After all the introduction and small conversations, it was time to do what I was coming to do. We just got closer and closer. Now, by the way, just to remind you, it was summertime and there was no air condition. So it was quite warm in the apartment. At the kitchen door, he held me close. And remember, he's very, very tall. I had my hands on his arms. His biceps were like 
basketballs. He tilted his head down and gently smothered my face with his nose. It was like exploring me and sniffing me out like a piece of fresh meat. And his hair, his hair was draping all over my face and caressing my skin. And his warm breath was so captivating and sexy and intoxicating. I was like a little prey in his arms. And he was very gentle. He wasn't forcing it at all. I was like, you might as well just eat me up now. Seriously, I couldn't even remember my name. He was very good at disarming me. Especially it was my first time meeting this giant who could easily be so intimidating. He was totally warming me up and then he turned me over and hit my hands on the door and he pulled my pants down and was on his knees warming up my backside if you know what I mean. I try not to be too graphic because it's still YouTube but you get the image. Shortly after he led me to his bedroom. He gently placed me in bed. He pulled off his white tank top. And when he took off his pants, I was like, uh, uh, there is no way I could take that. No way. A giant pepper grinder. There is no way. It's freakish. But obviously we didn't go all the way right away. He first lay on top of me and put all his whole weight over my body. I still remember the sense of being crushed by a giant. I have to say it felt really great. And of course we were making out and sweating all over the place. And with his heavy Spanish accent, he kept saying really flattering things like, Oh, your skin is so smooth. I really like it. You are so beautiful. Okay, wait, hold on. Now, the cynical side of me was telling me that it's just his act his usual tactic. I'm sure he said it to all the other boys, but I mean, I didn't mind the flattering, of course. And I remember this guy had stamina because the foreplay was really, really long. We were teasing each other all over the place. And again, his hair, his hair is thick and smooth and it smells great. And it's caressing and tingling all over the body. Well, my body and he would give me that little charming smile here and there. So very, very hot and sexy and sweet. Okay, now, here we go. We were about to get down to the real thing. I was bracing myself for that because I wasn't sure how I could ever take a pepper grinder. But I have to say, he must have been really experienced. He was just saying a lot of calming things in my ear to relax my body. He was getting me to breathe with him rhythmically, like <sighs> And when I showed signs of struggle, he would hush me like shh. <sighs> he knew what he was doing for sure. So he started really slowly and gently. And once he knew he had full control, he went for it. My head was probably spinning and I don't know where I was or who, who I was. And just when I thought I was in cloud nine, he caught me by surprise by saying, I want to marry you. At first I was like, oh, what, 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 what? I mean, he was still in me. I thought I heard it wrong. But then he reinforced it by saying it again. I want to marry you. Can I marry you? I, I mean, I don't remember how I responded. I probably said, yeah, I, I, I'd marry you. But we were doing it. It was intense. And of course, we both reached the climax at the end. It was so sweaty. And it must have lasted for at least three hours, at least. It was crazy. But, 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 but that's not all. Nope, there's more. So once we finished, we were sitting in bed, he laid my head on his chest and he was kissing my head, strolling my hair and wait for it. He started to sing. He was singing jazz like what? Yeah, he was singing jazz and then some Spanish songs and even operatic songs. It was a fantasy. That can't be true, but it was and I have proof 
Yeah, so while we were sitting in bed, he was sharing his hopes and dreams and his passion for classical music. So yeah, the whole experience was more than I ever expected. And he was a perfect gentleman, funny and polite. At the end, he let me take a shower and then I was on my way. It's funny, we're still social media friends to this day. Yes, we are. He used to record his singing and sent those clips to me, which I still have in my phone, but I'm not sharing with you. Obviously, we both have moved on since then, but I would never, ever, ever forget this experience. So that's it. If you like my story and this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below if you have similar experiences. And don't forget to check me out across social media platforms for more fun content. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.